For this demonstration, we are going to be running commands on the Cisco access and distribution layer switches. Our simulation is loading and is now ready. The first command we are going to look at is the show running config command. This command literally shows what has been configured on the switch. With this command, you get to see the switch or router's entire active configuration. Interfaces, VLANs, IP addresses, etc. The second command we are going to look at is show interface summary. Sometimes you may need to check for performance issues on a switch and this command is useful. It will show any buffering issues on interfaces or drop packets. Number three is one of my personal favorites, show interfaces status, instantly showing the state of an interface. With this command, you not only find out the status, but the port description, speed, duplex, and VLAN information configured on the port. Number four is copy running config startup config. When you have made some changes to the running config, this has been stored temporarily in an area called RAM. To save that change permanently, issue this command and the change is stored in NVRAM. Number five is show CDP neighbor, which is a Cisco proprietary command. Between Cisco switches, a neighborship is formed using the CDP protocol, but the protocol must be running for this to happen. Issuing the command shows the neighborship between access and distribution switches. Number six is show IP route. This shows the routing tables learned by a switch or router. To communicate between different IP subnets on a network, you will require a routing protocol. Show IP root command shows the routes to the different subnets and the protocol being used by that device. Command 7 is show version. This is a useful informational command as we will show. If you want to find out the operating system running on a switch, or indeed, what model of switch it is, show version will give you this information and more. You can see the model shown right here. Number 8 is show MAC address. Is there a device plugged into a port? By issuing this command, if the port is up and the endpoint device is live, a MAC address will be visible. In something called the CAM table. Number 9 is ping. This is the easiest to use of the all the commands. Ping stands for Packet Internet Groper and is used to test communication between two devices using IP addresses. In this example, we are testing between the distribution switch to the endpoint device connected to the access switch. And it is successful. Last of all, number 10 is Configure Terminal. This is how we make changes to a switch or router. We can configure just about everything on a router or switch and it all begins with configure terminal. This mode is also called global configuration mode. We can change interface details, authentication types, SNMP, etc. Here, we are just changing the host name of the device. Thanks again to G-Man for an easy to follow video. Like and subscribe to our channel and we hope to see you again soon.